Hey guys, so I actually picked the card that went up most in price. So Emoco went up $20, but the percentage wise, Vodarian Pariah, that card went up as the largest percentage in price. It went up over around 400%, over 400% from its bulk rare status. Now it is a very good card. I like it. Um, it has a lot of unique abilities. The madness is really nice, the triple black can come down pretty early. You can sacrifice creatures. There are plenty of creatures right now in standard uh, hanger back walker, um, tokens, all types of things that you can sacrifice without really affecting your board state as much. And when it flips over, it becomes a very big creature at 6-5, plus your opponent sacrifices three of their creatures. And normally they're probably not playing tokens or their creatures are more valuable than the ones you have. And sometimes even um, having this card, even not with the madness and just playing it straight up is okay because at that point you have the free creatures you need to sacrifice it. So definitely a card that has gone up a lot in price and a card that you should take from your bulk binder and recognize that it's no longer a bulk 75 cent card. It actually will probably be a popular trade target it doesn't belong in that many decks and it's not um, amazing, but power level wise, it's good enough for standard and definitely will see play moving into the future. So that's one of the cards to watch out for. The other card, I'll just make a quick note about it, is Kozilak's Return. Um, that card has also gone up a lot in prices. Uh, it went up $5 today from 5 to 10 So that's another card that you should keep your eyes out as well as the Giant Spider. Uh, but percentage wise, actually, this card was the main winner of Pro Tour Eldritch Moon. Bye, guys.